Hi YouTube, this is Latanya coming from Happy Scrapping 45 with the Travels Notebook collaboration, the final episode, which is episode 6. Oh my God, time really flies when you're having fun. I have had so much fun uh, sharing with you guys my update with my Travels Notebook. Um, and I want to thank uh, Tina, who is telling him thank you here on Facebook. I mean, YouTube, who um, who hosted this collaboration, and then also the other ladies that um, that that took part in the collaboration. I will leave uh, leave the links to their videos. I mean, to their pages below. But anyway, this is what we call the meat of the matter, where we wrap everything up. And tell you, you know, about our journey and what we learned during this journey of this collaboration. And what I can say, I love, love, love using my Travis Notebook. It goes in my purse. It's a, it's very chunky. And that's what I love about it. Um, don't get me wrong. I still have my Happy Planner. I still have my uh, Love Yoki book and... And, you know, and all that. But the Travis Notebook, oh, my God. I guess because, for one thing, you can personalize it. You know, you can make your own inserts. You can make your own um, um, pockets for your Travis Notebook. There is no, no rules to what you can have, what you cannot have. And you can use it for so many, many different things. Uh, well, with mine, it's a catch-all. I would be doing Bible journaling mines. I would be doing planning. Um, it will be like a brain dump when I have something that I just need to put it on paper real fast. I would put it inside of my, my travel's notebook. I would also use mines for when I'm traveling, which I have been doing a lot of traveling. I am at home today. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, I really, really miss home. I miss my stuff. I miss my craft room. I did take my Travis notebook with me. And on some of the um, places that me and my husband visit, which we have one more place that we're going to be going, uh, <clears throat> I, um, you know, I journal. And then I also went to different things where I got my, 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 my what you call it? Um, Oh my God! Like things when you collect, I cannot never say. It. Oh, okay. You guys know what I'm talking about. When you get all the things like postcards and all that good stuff, ticket stubs. So I I have collected all that inside of my book. I haven't put it together yet, um, because you know I'm limited to what I can take out of town with me. Quote from my husband, because sometimes I overpack. But, um, and I have been uploading my videos. I know, Tina, I, I apologize, but I know I have been kind of late, but, you know, wow. But this collab collaboration has been so much fun. I have watched all the ladies' videos. I have picked up so many points and, you know, the way we decorate our Travis Notebook, what we use it for. Like I said, you guys, there is no rules to what you use your book for. And I mean, I love making my own inserts. Now, what I want to invest in that I found out during this process, I want to invest in some different type of paper because I found out like, I do have an insert in here that I um, cut up some of my um, water paper and I made uh, an insert for that. But like when I'm journaling and I like want to use my... Um, Gelatos or something like that on regular paper. Oh, it's just sometimes just be too too messy. But um, but yeah. So and then I also realized during this collaboration that I prefer uh, sewing in my insert instead of using a staple because sometimes I even cut my finger. <laughs> I have started putting washi tape on the back part in the span part of the uh the um booklets. So, you know, the staple won't catch my hands when I'm pulling it out of my uh, cover. Um, so, I think that I'm going to really put my sewing machine to use. 
yeah that would give me a reason to use that because i'm going to start stitching in my travis nobles and then another thing that i am so fascinated by is um the when you laminate and make the travis notebooks oh my god i've been watching so many videos i couldn't wait to get home to my stuff so i could start making some of those laminated uh travis notebook for gifts because I have a lot of my um, nieces, when they saw my Travis notebook, they was like, Auntie, make me one. I said, first question I asked them, are you going to use it? Because I hate to make something for somebody and they don't use it. I mean, I really do. So, and I mean, it, my, my, I have four nieces that, that does um, poetry. And they was just so fascinated by my different inserts. And I was explaining to them, you could personalize it to what you wanted to do. You know, what, how you want your child's notebook to work. So that's what I'm going to be working on for gifts. And as I make those books for my nieces, I'm going to upload the videos and share with you guys uh, what I made. And you know, uh, one of my nieces, she want me to make her recipe uh, book. So, and so she could put, you know, all of my, um, my sister-in-laws and, and then, then their grandmother's old recipes in their book. So I have a lot of requests from my nieces, which would give me another opportunity to use up some of my paper. Yeah. So, um, so has things started dying down for me and my husband traveling? Um, that's what I will be doing. I mean, you guys, I love, love, love. The process of the Travis Notebook. I mean, I don't go nowhere without mine. It stays in my bag. It goes for me. Now, I don't think going forward, because I mean, you know, this is fabric. And I, I didn't put any, um, what you call that stuff, like uh, fabric stain guard. So, so far, I haven't got any uh, marks on my fabric, like from, you know, whatever. But that's why I'm going to try to make me another one. But this one I'm going to use is, um, I'm going to laminate my cover. And I'm going to share that with you guys. Yeah. But, so as I go along with my inserts, once I fill them up, I'm going to store them inside. A, I have a, um, a, a Iris container where I store all of my layouts for my planners. So also I'm going to put these there. So maybe one day my grandkids or even my kids want to look back and see, you know, what I was doing, you know, the places I travel to, because um, not only do I put pictures there, I also put different things from that particular city inside of my Travis Notebook, and, um, and that's what I love about it, it's so, so versatile, you can make it to whatever, um, whatever you want it to be, and and I just want to say thank you, Tina, for having this collaboration. It was so, so much fun. And wow, um, I learned so much, you know. And I mean, Travis Notebooks come in all different sizes. Um, I mean, from the micro mini type uh, Travis Notebook to the A size and B. I think I even saw one made with B6. I don't even know what size mass is considered as. Uh, but. I mean, I love it because it's big. Um, and then now they have, you know, you can make them out of leather, full, faux leather, then the lamination. So it's so, so many ways that you can make a Travis notebook. And you can, you know, set it up that um, to fit what you want it to do. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to leave the links to the other ladies in this collaboration and I want you guys to go over to their pages and check it out. Like I said, this is our final episode. And um, yeah, and I had so, so much fun. And you know I'm a purple girl. And I'm going to make me some more inserts. Um, and I'm going to do some lamination of some covers. Yes, I'm so glad to be home. <laughs> I know it's for a short time, but I'm just glad to be home around myself again. So, I'm going to get off of here, you guys. And like I said... You know, this has been so, so much fun. And um, so go check out the other ladies. And thank you for stopping by. And thank you, uh, subscribers and new subscribers, for following us during this collaboration. All righty, you guys. Bye-bye.